<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Edmunds Racing Preview Show. Toby and Trent are back here at the Perch to talk us through all the weekend's action. And uh, welcome fellas. Pretty good weekend or week on the runners front. A uh, couple of good performances during the week with Amand getting the chocolates and also Preach running a big race. Yeah, sort of. Um, Amand's been working his way towards something like that so um, it's good to see him progress and... and um, Probably more his pedigree, holding him, not you know, sort of not coming as early as we th we'd hoped he would, because he showed us from from probably his first gallop here. I think Cyril rode him, um, and he went a bit of pace work up the running, and 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 sorry, a bit of pace work and dashed up the running, and you know he towed Cyril one morning, and and um, I rang Darren Halpin and I said oh, you should you should buy this horse, and he bought it straight away. So um, he's been a bit slower to come to come to the fore, but now. Um, hopefully he can progress. So Darren's a good listener. Yeah. He listens. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> good on you, Darren. You well done me. there. Uh, but made in at midweek Metro. That's a pretty good um, pretty good start. To, yeah, he won to... easily too. So he put him away really quickly. Floated sort of um, from about the, I suppose, 75 metre mark in. He's floated about a bit. He's a bit of a looker, a bit of a thinker. So, um, but it was good, good confidence for him to do, to do that. Ryan rode him, you know, Ryan replaced Martin Harley, who was very ill and couldn't ride. So Ryan Maloney, uh, give him a good steer, he drew beautiful and um, it was good speed. The one, one he was able to follow and, and it was really big odds and he put it away really quickly. And He made you know, ground so quick, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. Put, put ground on them fast. Yeah. A little birthday I think the bl blinkers and a and, um, bit of a couple of gear changes, blinkers tongue-tied, that helped him as well, you know, made him focus. Okay. Because we had trialled him in blinkers, um, I think last time through. Yes. Um, a couple of times and he trialled okay. Um, but we sort of kicked him off, you know, with no gear at all, and, and we thought we'd just let him progress and put him on when, when we thought he needed it, needed to. So that worked finally. Oh, well done there. And uh, Preach Trent was also a, a good run. Ran well. Uh, would have liked to have made more use out of him from the gate. Uh, that's when he races best. Jumped half a length in front, and for people from the outside looking in, you think, oh, it was perfect. He was outside the lead. And, jogging well that's not him he's a fast horse and you've got to bang him out make really good use of him and let him sustain a sectional and run along quick and run them into the ground that's how he races best wasn't afforded that opportunity um, on Wednesday so back to the drawing board probably step up in journey next time and hopefully a better result all um, right well yeah. let's get into the preview you've got four runners uh, at this stage accepted for the Gold Coast Poly meeting Saturday a couple of last start winners so heading in with a bit of form Connolly's one of those looks to make it back-to-back -back wins in the cutest three-year-old benchmark 60 same track and trip as last start with King Callow again aboard yeah um he did a good job the other day and probably what was not as strong a field as it is tomorrow he's drawn poorly um but he's a quick horse, you know, he probably gets outside lead pretty easily, I suppose. Um, and if... Now he's got a bit of confidence behind him, maybe maybe he can he can win again, but normally it's very hard to win straight out of a maiden and, and a horse that's had... Took, or especially a horse that's taken, had two or three goes at Cracks winning at it, yeah. prior to, you know. They don't often bounce in, into another one. They normally take a run in that grade and then you find their right level. So, look, um, he's... His work is okay in between runs. He's he's quite well in himself, and I'm sure he'll get up and speed and look the winner um, for a fair part of the race. It just depends on on. Um, I think there's one that looks like it might get home pretty strong. I can't remember the name. Kendrick's horse, total. Yeah, line. probably Kendrick's horse. But um, our guy'll be in the. He'll be he'll be whacking away. He won't be far away from them, and just hopefully um, tactically, King Callow can get the best out of him. Okay, well, good luck to the Arch. Didn't, didn't get the best out of um, one of ours last week. I'm oh, Voodoo. Oh, yes. yes. Okay, we're, we're going to re go there. We'll review that later. <laughs> Step up. <laughs> well, good luck to the Arch Park team there with Connolly. Hopefully he can make it back-to-back -back wins. And another last start winner, Trent, looking to go back-to-back -back Fulham. Steps up to a Class 2, though, so a bit of a rising grade here. Um, same deal, though, same track and trip. Uh, Michael Carl staying on board. Yeah, and we had her in at Lismore today, but she drew horribly, so scratched. Um, same track and trip, same jockey, stepping up a grade, um, or two grades really, from her maiden um, is difficult, but we thought just going up in grade again, hopefully the field's sort of a bit thin and she can carry a little bit less weight, that's the theory behind that, um, she'll be 
on speed, I think Gary Dowdy's horse probably leads. She sit behind it and hopefully get it down late. It, has, it hasn't had a start for a fair while. And um, obviously our mare started about four weeks ago. So I'd um, like to see her win again. She seems to be going well enough. So um, she can repeat the dose as long as everything goes right. Well, fingers crossed Fulham can go uh, back to back also. Then we turn our attention to the two runners set to take their place in the maiden plate. First starter, Bassick Lane, kicks off his career after a recent trial win and Control Chaos looks to go one better than the last start second here on the poly. Yeah, so we'll start off with Bassick Lane. Um, first starter, as you said, by Nakoni. He's a very slow maturing horse who's, uh, you know, finally won a trial the other day. The horse, horse you think, uh, well, he's, not, he's probably in, in, in the mould. He's not as good as Aman, but um, he, he's taken forever to pick everything up. He's that dopey, you know, he, he um, you know, blinkers on and you've got to use him and make him do it. Like Michael Carl said, said in his trial, that he's had to keep really yelling at him and getting, getting him to concentrate and focus on, on what he was doing. And he won his trial reasonably well. A um, bit different race day pressure tomorrow, so uh, I'd just like to see tomorrow um, how he handles that and if he can sort of sustain that um, race day pressure or, or s tempo more so than, uh, than pressure. Um, if he can sustain that race day tempo, he, 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 he probably runs into a place. I think the other filly's probably got him covered. She's had a few starts and a bit of race yeah. experience with Jag on it. Um, and she's going to get a, a lovely run, you know. Bassett Lane probably goes forward and controls if he's got the speed yeah, the and she just sits off. behind him and, and probably has the last shot at, shot at him. So out of those two, uh, control chaos for mine. OK, it was a pretty good run last start, wasn't it? Good effort. Probably Nelly should have won. Um, Lugged off the track, and the winner sort of yeah, let the winner up, out from behind him. So, yeah, 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 so that was that was that. She went down swinging. That was the first up effort for a, a fair while off a mini break in the stable. So um, she's tightened up since, and probably looks the one. Okay, well they're the four runners. A couple of good chances if they can take that step up to the next level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, on the best vets front, no joy last week. No. I am voodoo. Um, let the team down. Sure, wasn't Can it? we ring, wow. the, ring the jockey and ask for the money back? <laughs> I am Voodoo, king, yeah, please. the king. Will they do that? The king Callow, what a stitch I hope up. So. Stitch up. But anyway, right. um, please. Best this week. What do we got? Connolly to go back to back. Connolly back to back. Oh. All right, we'll try to blast out. <laughs> okay, yeah, well, you do need to make <laughs> up. I need, yeah, I need to make up a few hundred dollars there, yeah. Because yes. well, you did call it a few weeks back um, that we're going we're gonna to call it at the end of the racing season, I think which so. is obviously only. Two meetings to go. I know, jeez. Toby, know. you can um, play it safe. You're you're out in front. Straight, so. straight, Matt. I just go all 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 into uh, all up control chaos. Control chaos on its own. How or? much have I got in the in the kitty? Well, you're uh, fifteen might, thirty-five. I might Trent, try, eleven twenty. Can I put 20. the whole lot on control chaos? <laughs> Okay, we're, we're, we're 100 a week. It's I'll give him a chance. I'll nothing. give him give him a chance to to, okay. to, so to, to hit the front. You're going to have fifteen hundred and thirty-five dollars on controlled chaos. Yep. All right, we're going to have to get the calculator out for that if it lobs. But wow, uh, it's simple. <laughs> it's, only, it's only paper money, so you've got to have some balls. I've been putting this on. Yeah, you have not. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, fingers crossed you can both get your best bets home and uh, you have a good weekend. So uh, enjoy, everyone. Yeah, <laughs>